After the white paper was published in 2001, ECHA finally opens its doors in 2007 for a groundbreaking new regulation called REACH. More recently, also in Korea, KREACH was implemented. A lot of similarities, but also some differences on the menu, like polymers. Today we'll discuss REACH from an authority perspective with Ms. Jae Jong Yo from the Ministry of Trade, Industry and Energy from Korea and a founding father of REACH, Mr. Robert Donkers. Rob, what were the main drivers uh, in Europe to establish the REACH regulation? When we were evaluating at request of the member states what was the current practice in implementing the then existing legislation, we found out that however we had a very good regulation on existing substances, this went absolutely too slow and uh, also that the role of the competent authorities were, were too big and not the role of the industry. And then ministers urged the Commission to come forward with a more comprehensive new type of legislation. In the process of creating the REACH regulation, uh, the initial initiative came from DG Environment and DG Enterprise. Putting this in the Korean perspective, also the Ministry of Environment are involved, MOE, together with your ministry, uh, taking um, care of industry again. Can you explain about the role of uh, the Ministry of Trade, Industry and Energy in KREACH? Uh, MOE and MOTI, uh, we had a corporate cooperation about uh, uh, made uh, some rules or regulation uh, of REACH system. And then we uh, discussed about uh, several issues uh, on uh, impact of industry and made uh, regulations of K-REACH. That is uh, a little different uh, from uh, EU-REACH. What are some of the main challenges for industry posed by KREACH? There are several changes for industry, um, like uh, financing and uh, structure of industry. You already mentioned uh, SMEs, small medium enterprises. Uh, Rob, that was also a prominent uh, part of the 2012 REACH review. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about that review process? The, in the review we came to the conclusion that it's uh, Working quite well, um, however, there are some points which need to be improved, also on the part of industry. On the other hand, um, we expected a little bit more problems for SMEs and they still see it as a very uh, challenging and complicated uh, piece of legislation. So we, we will address that in terms of, uh, um, for instance, in terms of costs. So we will review together with ECA to uh, see what we can do about the fee system. We need uh, to make more clear and have more outreach uh, to SMEs that they understand their roles and that they know that they also are involved. And that goes for the producers, but also for downstream users. And that's also part of the report, uh, findings of the report. They are uh, much more, the ones who are aware, are much more involved in developing new chemicals than the bigger industry. The other conclusion, and that's a good conclusion, I think, is that there are no major overlaps, no major problems between REACH and existing legislation. Uh, Ms. Yu, I know uh, SMEs are a top priority for MOTI. How do you support SMEs in this? MOTI consider a similar uh, problem as uh, you reach for uh, SMEs. We made a guideline for implementation or we uh, consulting and uh, um, release a report news mm -hmm. for industry. They are not aware of their roles and duties of implementary of carriage. And also they, had, uh, they have a problem about uh, co cost. And where can international and local companies, uh, on which door do they need to knock to get some help uh, last year, we um, we we made an organization of ta task force team, yeah. and then uh, last from last year, uh, we uh, released news and uh, uh, guideline uh, of carriage, and then uh, industry uh, reviewed that uh, news or information, and they had. If they have a question about uh, carriage, 
uh, they call that task force and we support about uh, their problem. And what are the future operation plans for K-REACH? We have a plan to uh, improvement of K-REACH and also we need uh, more support policy uh, to implement of K-REACH. Ms. Yo, if I'm informed correctly, uh, green chemistry is also imported in Korea. Um, it's part of uh, a task of KITEC, an institute below MOTI. We have two projects, major projects. The one is to uh, develop new substances uh, to change hazardous material, hazardous chemical substance, something like that. And second is to uh, we develop an IT system to control uh, chemical management in in industry. Do you have suggestions for those countries considering REACH-like regulations, uh, how to implement, prepare themselves for it? I would like to start off by saying that REACH never was meant to be an export article. But some of the principles I think are uh, certainly worthwhile considering and has been considered, for instance in Korea, but also in other countries. Uh, and one of them I mentioned already at the beginning, that's the role of industry. So um, the principle of shared responsibility, not, that the, uh, not in the sense that uh, a producer has to prove that a substance is safe, but it has to give all the information that the substance can be used safely. And the, the shift in mindset as you describe it, uh, do you see that also in countries where you work, like the United States and India? In the US, yes. India is a completely different story. There will have been, has been an initiative um, when I was still living and working there to come with a sort of discussion paper on, on how to consolidate the existing legislation and to do uh, a better job on chemicals and may lead this year to a, a draft legislation uh, which will not resemble the REACH but at least it would be already good if, if chemicals could become more in focus. And um, to put uh, something very positive on the Indian industry, they are ahead of a lot of countries in uh, starting produce production of green chemistry. I'm sure we'll learn more about that and other chemical control legislation at ChemCon Europe 2016 in Amsterdam. Miss you and Rob, thank you for your contribution.